I was meaning to get on this story a while back ago, so forgive me. But in Canada and Ottawa, in their Parliament Hill, a group of afro nadian af activists were meeting there to meet with some MPs, I imagine. And it turns out that they were profiled by a staffer of an MP and security maybe as well. That security came to them where they were at waiting for an appointment and told them that they need to disperse. Some of them went in one area, others went to the cafeteria. From then on, they continued to be confronted by the security at Parliament Hill and then they were asked to leave and they had credentials. They had Parliament credentials to be there because they were there to meet with MPs to make their demands met. Uh, it was believed that I think by the staffer who who complained that they were described as those dark skinned people. So once again to show you uh, this problem with discrimination with whiteism is worldwide in all of these countries. You know, I listen to CBC. Uh, what goes on in Canada is important to me. A number of our afro nadian brothers and sisters are there because their ancestors either left here or chose to fight with the British against the Americans. So what happens to them in Canada is important to me and it should be important to all of us, uh, including in not saying um, uh, specifically reparations, but including situations when we talk about ADOS. So this just goes to show you that this problem that we face is universal and that's definitely something that we all have in common and we need to work together throughout the diaspora. We have the same concerns.